Hey everybody, welcome to Reaching Reverie, and guess what? We got a GoPro. We are really excited about this new addition to our channel. Now up to this point, I have been shooting with my Canon EOS M50, and it's been doing a really good job. However, our new GoPro Hero 8 is gonna step it up a notch. Don't get me wrong, our Canon is still a wonderful vlogging tool, which we will still be incorporating into our channel. Our Canon EOS M50 is a high quality camera. It shoots in 4K and takes remarkable photos. That being said, we're still undeniably excited about all of the new features that our GoPro has to offer. It has superior motion stabilization. It's almost drone-like how little this camera shakes. I also love that it's weatherproof. You know, I could go scuba diving with this thing. One of the biggest issues that we ran into with the Canon is how vulnerable it is in our West Texas environment. We have an insane amount of wind out here and some dust actually got down into this lens and it can still operate normally, but it no longer is able to close in the locked position. So this lens always has to be open now because the dust got in. There was one time where we did close it and we couldn't get it back open and we thought it was ruined. And lenses on Canons can go several hundred dollars to replace. So this Canon, it's a great quality camera, but it makes us a little nervous that we can mess it up if it gets rained on or mess it up if it gets dropped or even just as simple as a little bit of dust getting into that lens. On the homestead, we experience weather. It's a part of life. We can get really dusty and filthy during a video shoot. The GoPro brings peace of mind to my vlogging experience as I record some of our life to share with you. I won't have to miss a moment that I could have shared with y'all out of fear that I'd damage a $700 camera. This GoPro is shockproof, it's waterproof, and it can handle our desert, gusty dust storms. I'm not going to lie, I also had a ton of fun picking out accessories for my new toy. So this is what the GoPro looks like just by itself without any case or anything. I love how lightweight it is and it's really small, mobile, easy to carry, it's hardly there. I got two different cases for the GoPro. The first one I have over here is a media mod. It's going to have improved sound quality and it's going to be my general case for most of the vlogging that I do here on the channel. I am waiting to buy a part. They have um, a flip up screen that you can attach to this so that I can see myself as I'm recording so it'll make the vlogs just a little easier to record. <laughs> I'll be able to see that the camera's pointing at my face because I have a lot of trouble doing that. <laughs> and then the other case that I got, now this is like the super heavy duty case. This one's going to be more for when we get out of the house, going on adventures where we really want to take in the scenery. And I'm not going to be doing as much like vlogging at that point, but it's going to be more like join us on our adventure. We're going to take this one. Now next month, we actually do have a nice little adventure planned. We are going to go horseback riding in the mountains. So stay tuned for that. Can't wait to show you. We're definitely going to use this case in case I drop this off the back of a horse or, you know, just for whatever. Shockproof, weatherproof, that's going to go with us. Let's talk about a couple of the other accessories I got for my GoPro. This one right here is a quick clip. You just hook the GoPro on there and you can put this on like a baseball cap hook it to your belt buckle, and it can go anywhere with you. I also got a head strap, so I can take it, say, I don't know, horseback riding with us, and, you know, on a hike, anywhere we go where I want to be hands-free and let y'all guys see what we're up to. 
can't wait to use that one. So my favorite accessory that I got for my GoPro is this cool arm. I can hold it and record my vlogs or I could extend it out and say get really low to the ground and record the chickens or I could get up and take a big selfie. It's so cool. Possibilities endless. And then in the very bottom of this stick out pops a portable tripod. Isn't that cool? Now I had so much fun shopping for all of these accessories for my GoPro. I actually had to stop myself because I could have kept going. There were so many other options. So that's pretty cool. Now I promise you guys, I wasn't sponsored by Canon or by GoPro. I just really wanted to share my excitement with y'all on this new addition to our homestead. Now I can only imagine how we're going to put this to use in our future on our new homestead once we move. Maybe we'll get a goat cam. <laughs> you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. Looking towards the future, we may also get a harness for the dogs so that we can record their activities. Maybe, just maybe, one day we'll be able to see the point of view of one of our chickens. GoPro, do you make chicken cam harnesses? Come on, girls. Thank <laughs> you. 